Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, hello, my name is Alejandra and I study aerospace engineering at the University of Manchester. Sorry if I've been MIA these past two weeks, university has been crazy. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And I had so many deadlines but I'm back now and hopefully I'll be more consistent. And today's video is inspired by RP Park, one of my favorite YouTubers and yeah, he's so funny. I'll link his channel down below for you guys to check him out and yeah, I wanted to show you guys one of the modules I take for aerospace engineering. It's called Fluid Mechanics and it's everyone's favorite. And without further ado, let's get right into the video! Fluid mechanics is the branch of physics concerned with the mechanics of fluids, liquid, gases, and plasmas, and the forces on them. It has applications in a wide range of disciplines including mechanical, civil, chemical, and biomedical engineering, geophysics, oceanography, meteorology, astrophysics, and biology. So Wikipedia is missing the most important of all, aerospace engineering. It can be divided into fluid statics and fluid dynamics. Fluid statics are fluids at rest, aka not moving, and fluid dynamics is the study of the effect of forces on fluid motion, aka moving. Fluid mechanics, especially fluid dynamics, is an active field of research, typically mathematically complex, basically very heavy maths. Many problems are partly or wholly unsolved. No wonder why it's so hard. A modern discipline called computational fluid dynamics, also known as CFD, is devoted to this approach. Here is the computation of fluid dynamics around the cow. The study of fluid mechanics goes back to at least the days of ancient Greece when Archimedes, oops sorry not him, this one, investigated fluid statics and buoyancy. If you watch my university campus tour, then you would have probably heard of him. If not, I will link it down below for you guys to watch if you want to. This is the statue of him in North Campus when he had his Eureka moment. Archimedes formulated his famous law, known now as the Archimedes Principle, which was published in his work on floating bodies. It's considered to be the first major work on fluid mechanics. Rapid advancement in fluid mechanics began with Leonardo da Vinci, with his observations and experiments, Evangelista Torricelli, who invented the barometer, Isaac Newton, who investigated viscosity, you like jazz? and Blaise Pascal who researched hydrostatics, which is what my friend Alessia, the future civil engineer of the house, is currently studying as part of her modules. Blaise Pascal formulated what we now know as Pascal's law, and it was continued by Daniel Bernoulli with the introduction of mathematical fluid dynamics in his book Hydrodynamica, which was published in 1739. Inviscid flow, which is the flow of an inviscid fluid, in which the viscosity of the fluid is equal to zero, was further analyzed by various mathematicians, including Joseph Louis Lagrange, who is a French mathematician, and Pierre Simon Laplace, among others. Viscous flow was explored by a multitude of engineers, including Navier and Stokes, who provided further mathematical justification in the very famous Navier Stokes equation. And this is like an equation that you will encounter throughout your um, degree in fluid mechanics. It's essentially what we work around with. Various scientists such as Osborne Reynolds advanced the understanding of fluid viscosity and turbulence. Turbulence is fluid motion characterized by chaotic changes in pressure and flow velocity. So that's what you guys can see here. Something I also mentioned in my campus tour is that the apparatus he used for his investigations are still on campus, both the original made out of wood and a more modern version which always breaks and needs repairing. It's actually so much fun. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this little video and next time you see fluids, whether that be when you drink or when you use oil to cook or even when you steam something, think about how much fun it is to actually study those phenomena. Hey guys, so I'm currently editing this video and I'm so sorry if it didn't sound as funny. I did think it was funny in my head, but then now that I'm editing the video, I just realized my humor doesn't even sound very humorous anymore and I won't blame you for that and yeah. I hope I didn't throw you guys off with fluid mechanics. It's actually quite a pretty interesting module once you get the basics of it and it's very useful for engineering and it really develops your problem solving skills. So. 
have a look on that if you're interested in applying for an engineering degree because at the beginning it can be quite intimidating but it's actually quite fun and so i hope you guys are staying safe thank you for watching if you're still here and yeah i hope you get things done today have a nice weekend and see you on my next one bye